Back here in New York, the largest United Nations General Assembly in recent years will convene in person right here after nearly two years of virtual meetings. Our correspondent, Pamela Falk, has been closely following the United Nations for decades. I get a lot of emails from you over the course of a year. Yes. Um, this is a challenging time for the globe, uh, to put it mildly, right? Uh, you've got right. war, uh, you've got exceedingly uh, troubling economic times in many places, and then right. you've got the major scheduling conflict called the, the Queen's funeral. Funeral, exactly. So what can we expect when this opens tomorrow? Well, good morning, uh, both of you. The UN Week is the World, the world Series yeah. of Diplomacy. Uh, 193 nations, we can expect. It is, as you mentioned, Tony, the, oh, the most heads of state ever, and they will gather for the 77th starter session tomorrow. Now, the opening of this year's session comes, as you mentioned, as the world uh, is, is involved in the w Ukraine war rages, uh, the, uh, the uh, gains, um, uh, Ukraine is gaining ground. Um, and uh, no question there is a lot of concern about what Russia might do. There's also heightened concern about climate change as the world continues to see. We see, saw even this morning unprecedented flooding and fires. 13 U.S. presidents have used their speeches to define America's place in the world, as President Biden is expected to do when he speaks on Wednesday. He's expected to focus on avoiding world war and global hunger, but also <laughs> there is potentially a global economic downturn. So it's a daunting agenda. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will, will beam in remotely despite Russia's objections. <laughs> Zelensky's wife, the first lady of Ukraine, is expected to make an in-person appearance at the session at UN headquarters. And remember, the UN brokered grain deal between Ukraine and Russia was negotiated in July. And it may be, one would hope, a stepping stone to brokering the peace one day. As former UN chief Doug Hammarskjöld said it best, the United Nations was not created to bring us to heaven, but in order to save us from hell. Mm, and yeah. that's the theme this year. Yeah, and a busy, busy week for uh, Ukraine, Ukraine's first lady, uh, who's now at the yes. Queen's funeral, is going to be back in New York. Pamela, thank you very much.